Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Brock Davies tended to a report that his exchange of the house deed to his better half, Sheena Shea, was a sign they're either seeking legal separation or he's declaring financial insolvency and shared the story behind why they made it happen. Sheena likewise pummeled Rackle Levis' case that Ariana Maddox, Creation, and Vanderpump Rules castmates had some awareness of Rackle's undertaking with Tom Sandoval before spring first. On Sheena's Shenanigans digital broadcast, the couple examined the case that Brock marked an interspousal move award deed on their home either in light of the fact that he was petitioning for financial protection or they were separating. The real reason? is that California is a parted local area property state, said Brock. And Sheena previously managed this previously. And anyone in California that gets hitched, 50% of your resources are parted. And afterward, while we're discussing a property, same thing there. Sheena bought this property with her cash. He made sense of. I won't pivot and say I'm qualified for that. Along these lines, Brock said he gave the deed up to Sheena on the grounds that it's her property. Brock guaranteed a comparative circumstance happened when they marked a prenup. He likewise called attention to the ongoing fight in court among Tom and his ex Ariana over the offer of their home, referring to this to act as an illustration of why couples ought to safeguard their property. The stars likewise tended to Rackle's new case that Ariana, creation, and a few cast individuals had some awareness of the issue before spring first. No one knew, folks, said Brock, who asserted there would have been a greater amount of their relationship on camera in the event that this were the situation. 100%, Sheena concurred. As per Sheena, Rachel's idea that Ariana had some awareness of it in the fall or December of 2022 is completely bogus, and is a all-out inconsistency to such countless explanations that Raquel has Vanderpump made over this previous rules year. notorious bar, shorts, and Sandy's shutting down after only two years of being open. Apparently, this is the word circumventing town. Anyway, the thing is really being said about the cafe bar claimed by Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz. Peruse on for additional subtleties. VPR bar Schwartz and Sandy's end after only two years? Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz were so eager to diverge from Tom Tom and have their own bar. They imparted this in season 9 to Lisa Vanderpump and had tracked down an accomplice to work with. Tragically, there was a great deal of pressure and things were being held up. That made truckload of cash be spent, and it took perpetually for their bar, Schwartz, and Sandy's to open at last. It here and there cost Schwartz his union with Katie Maloney who unendingly clashed with Sandoval. She despised the name of the bar as well as got along unquestionably well with the co-proprietor, Greg Morris. Her thoughts were esteemed and he maintained that her should be involved yet Sandoval didn't. Then, Scandoval occurred and business was essentially squashed. It came out that the staff truly enjoyed Schwartz however had a scorn for Sandoval. They lacked the ability to film Vanderpump Rules Season 11 at the bar. Presently, tales are flying that it is set to close. Before long, a Reddit string was begun to examine what individuals had heard, where they had heard it, and why this was an undeniable chance. There was only a tale about this. It's not shutting right now, but rather they've given it a short measure of time, six a year, to pivot. Sandoval fiercely misjudges his capacity to move capabilities. That is to say, most bars truly do wind up falling flat. So one ran by moronic and stupider close by Scientology Greg doesn't precisely seem like a recipe for progress. Lisa attempted to shut down these morons constantly. Nobody wouldn't believe. Greg's Theatrix. Alongside Tom Sandoval and his concerns, their co-proprietor, Greg Morris has as of late carried his own theatrics to Schwartz and Sandy's. His better half attacked a TikTok character and it was gotten on camera. She was then supposedly captured for being inebriated. Thus, there is a great deal happening at the bar that they need to correct to proceed. 
Has the reality they couldn't film there this prepare influenced business? Potentially. Perhaps Vanderpump Rules fans maintained that an opportunity should be on camera. Regardless, it isn't solid and hasn't been for some time. Do you suppose the bar is preparing to shut down? Or is there actually trust? Tell us and watch Vanderpump the Rules Jax Tuesday's Taylor swindling reports are up for conversation on Vanderpump Rules. During Tuesday's episode of the hit Bravo show, Lala Kent, Katie Maloney, Sheena Shea, and Christina Kelly conjectured about Taylor's unwaveringness to Cartwright, who are as of now isolated yet at the same time wedded. The tattle started as the Truth stars attempted to decide why their co-star Ariana Medix, 38, remained in a despondent relationship with Tom Sandoval, 41, perceiving he was discovered cheating with Rackle Levis. You don't actually be aware until you're in it. You can't judge since you don't have the foggiest idea, Shay, 38, contemplated. Check Jax and Brittany out. They were hitched and had a child. I could hardly imagine how when they did. There's still anecdotes about him going here and there around town. Maloney, 37, answered. Shay and Kent affirmed that they've two heard tales about Taylor's disloyalty. It's past, Kent said. Although Taylor, 44, undermined Cartwright, 35, during their experience on VPR, they remained together and, surprisingly, broadcasted their wedding service on the show in 2019. In the wake of leaving the series in 2020, they invited their child, Cruz, in 2021. The mother of one reported their division on her in Taylor's digital broadcast. When reality hits with Jax and Brittany on February 29. Indeed, relationships overall are extremely hard, and I've had an especially unpleasant year this previous year, she reflected. Jax and I are taking separation, and I pursued the choice to move into one more home to take some space for my psychological health. The following day, Cartwright was captured moving into another investment property, notwithstanding Taylor telling Page Six they were residing under a similar rooftop. That weekend, Cartwright tossed conceal at her ex by guaranteeing he was not sincerely trying to save the relationship. Giving more understanding into where they stood, she added, At whatever point you battle with someone for such a long time, there's just such a lot of you can take. And you know, I merit better. Cruz merits better. We need, similar to, a decent co-nurturing relationship. And I believe that me moving out and taking space to sort out whether or not this is what I need is, similar to, the best circumstance for me at the present time. Page Six affirmed on Walk 8 that the pair were back to shooting their impending VPR side project, The Valley, in the midst of their partition. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.